looks rusty here. It's supposed to rain. So I'm trying to get it where the rain comes. I just kind of want this here looks bad. So Hopefully this white looks okay. Oh, the knife is sharp enough. This is obviously not that good. It's windy. It's problem. I get the major rust here and then when I wash it later I can touch some of this up but the acid wash it looks like that's why it's so more rusty the acid
So am I hired or am I fired? Looks actually not bad so far. Let it dry and I'm gonna touch it just up a little bit here. I'm gonna put it, it's so it's hot now, so it's gonna heat up big time and uh, warm, it can warm and then dry fast. Put a little piece here, I think, on this edge here. Okay, hold on. Idiot I'm just going to paint like this more touch up. So it doesn't look so bad when I'm driving around, looks like a junker. Those chats getting jacked up or pulled over. Kind of has a lousy spray. I don't like the spray that much. It goes on pretty good. Not much in the can either. Twenty two bucks a can. Step to empty ready. Shake and rattle and roll. I think we're good. Good.
So it's a little improvement. Not a crazy improvement, but the rust is gone. Because when the DOT drives around, you know, they see cars when they're really rusty looking or they're not kept up, they jack you up. Pretty nice in here. I mean, the color is a little different, but it's okay. Um, maybe later one day I'll just paint it all completely. You know, worst case scenario, I can tape the window and then paint paint it because it is it's quite a bit different. But this is faded here. That's why. So it's probably that's why. Keep that window. If I touch this up a bit, you probably won't notice it. Okay, let's. I want to paint. Uh, thought, thought about painting my wheels a little bit. Let's see if I can. Just look a little cleaner. Well, let's see if I can tape it up here somehow. Figure it out. Hold on. Here, I'm just gonna touch this up here a little more. At least it will match it, anyways. Yeah, a little bit better, I guess. Well, not perfect. Okay, figured you know, might as well tackle this a little bit. Okay, we're gonna see if I can somehow tape this this up and at least try one. Maybe I can do a template first. Figure how that works. Okay.
look a little better. Let's sit for a minute. It looks like the front rims are bigger actually than this one. I just wonder if I could peel this off carefully and just stick it, stick it on that side. It sucks a lot of paint. Between a little bit of there and here. Pick up at least three cans, maybe. This one's done. That's gonna look better. Empty. Okay, let me go to Home Depot. Got four cans of paint, it was like a hundred and five dollars. Crazy. It's good paint, I used it before, but I guess it costs money to maintain stuff to make it look good. Okay, we'll keep going. Excuse the wind. Streets keep on keep on giving. Let's hold on glass recycling. Okay. This stuff was in here earlier. Ah oh, come on. I only went 10, 20 feet. Shouldn't lock the doors that fast. For sure, or a heater. These are heavy. Oh, yeah, they're actually really heavy. They're AWOS. I wonder if I can give it to Joe. Look okay. AWOS, cheap brand, but we can sell them for 10 bucks. Okay, yeah, well, a little slow motion here, but. I don't have any. I thought next time I should just cut cardboard. Oh, it's broken plastic here. Cut cardboard next time. You know, if I cut it a little bit bigger, then I could have taped it. But, anyways, I just hate seeing overspray on tires. So, here, I might as well do this. Hmm. 
time consuming, but I'm hoping I can maybe peel this off carefully. It may come in one and I can put it on the other side. But who knows? I probably doubt it, but never know. To try. Even this tape here is like 20 bucks now for four. No, for three. Or, or they want a 10 or 11 bucks for, for two. Prices are ridiculous. I know, unbelievable now. So you wonder why are all these trades are so expensive, your little thing. I'm sure they get wholesale cheaper if you're buying from a company. Besides Home Depot, but still. Prices are ridic ridic ridiculous on stuff now. So I can't get the motorhome awning down. Something's broken there. One thing after the other. The awning is new, but it's a few years old. Maybe, I don't know, maybe five, four or five years old, but only used it a few times. Just stuff just breaks down. Non-stop breaking down stuff. The next time I'm gonna do is just um, measure and, and, and just uh, measure, get a cardboard, say big like this. If I had flexi cardboard, it's a little bit easier. And then what I'll do is measure from here to here, find the center, and then I would go maybe an inch past. So I only have to tape a little bit, so that the card would be a little bit bigger, and I can just tape it there. That's good. Therapy. Okay, I'm gonna finish this here, and I'm gonna tape this. I mean, I'll tape this here, and then I'm gonna shake the can for about five minutes, and then I'm gonna paint this. Okay, hold on. Front flow is actually nicer. Let's close the door here. Hmm. Windy. Stuff has a primer built in. This looks a lot better. Roof is so I'm happy with the roof. That roof looks good. If you remember, it's all rusty. So I bet you it's about fifty bucks, one hundred fifty dollars in just in paint. Well, this stuff's twenty-two bucks. I don't know. It's it's the primer built in, but I'm kind of happy. It is progress is pretty good. Not bad. Hmm. 
what I'm going to do is put another coat here. I'm going to go ahead a couple feet, just in case there's a spot I missed a little bit. And then I'm going to see if I can peel that paint or the tape off carefully. I mean, who knows? Probably not, but that's okay, whatever. It's not that hard of a job. I need to get things looking good for when I do my garbage removal business. Or it's going to be 24K junk removal. It's going to be like my card is going to be like this. I want very simple. Come on, where's it going now? Very simple. Very simple. Right there. 24K. So it's going to have the recycle logo, big 24K, junk removal. That's a prototype you might, you might clean up after. But that, the card's going to be basic, just the phone number. And if they give me a check, it has to be under 24K Disposal and Salvage Limited. That's the company. That's my business register, but 24K junk is just going to be generic. Make it simple. Is it, I say garbage. Like if you look at my logo here. See? One second. 24K disposal and salvage limited. All this disposal doesn't and salvage does nothing to the junk removal. Right? They think I'm a disposal company. How, how's this look here, Joe? I have to paint this before I can do anything, unless you want to help me tape. What's that? Tape to help me tape these rims so I can get on here and we get some junk for you. Yeah. Did you load everything already? No, I haven't even loaded. I'm going to start loading that because well, it's going to rain. Just back up? No, I don't. I got just, stuff, I just, stuck a nail. It cost me $90 each time is it. Fucking 50 bucks each time. Okay, well. I, I, took, I sold this because of the guy and the guy came back and he fucking went to me to his bus because it wasn't working. So I gave him 100 bucks back, eh? The guy. I told you sell things as is. It's no, garage sale, man. Guy, I told the guy they were good. They were working, so. Well, he can tell you anything. He can bloom himself. No, he's a regular customer. I, I found some speakers in there. Check those AWAS speakers in the back. He's a down. really good customer of mine. I found some AWAS. So I gave him a bunch. I gave him seven polos that I bought. DVDs. I gave him for twenty dollars. So What's up to you? Whatever you do. Well, you he, can he, go, go look at these speakers here. Come I on. I don't know what to do. You can't fuck people. Just try to give me. A, just try to give me ten bucks for that milk jug. The what? Give me ten for the milk jug. What about that car? Are you taking that car or is that garbage? I don't care. Where did it come from? I had that guy in the car and he dropped it there. Okay, then just take it. But over here... Yeah, there's a scooter. You can grab that scooter too. What scooter is that? I just I found... The bike too, but I, won't have I just found there. those speakers. They look pretty good. They're actually not bad. Just try, try to take the scooter here. Try to give me five bucks for it. For what? The scooter. Give me five bucks for the scooter. Oh yeah. Speakers I don't care, you can have them. Oh yeah. But that's uh, is right. Just crap on the side of the road. They look pretty good, but they're AWAS cheap, but they're heavy. Yeah. Let me finish, like say, let me finish those two wheels here because it's gonna rain. Yeah, I know, I'm not gonna leave right yet. I'm gonna... Well help me tape a bit, then I could be out of here and I could be looking for your stuff. stuff. But I wanna get this loaded now because she's getting start loading. Start loading. Put that pressure washer might work. Which one's that? I don't have the cord, but which one's that? The red one there. See, this is the last time I do New York sale, and then, like, I don't, I'm, I'm only doing it to the end of the month. That's it. Whatever scrap, scrap, just bring it back. No, I'm end of the month. That's it. Okay, let me finish here. Now I rotate here. Now I have the dead spots here. I don't think this paint's that good. It spits a lot. I should have bought a toller can. You have a real toll can. See? They have the old original. Couldn't get it before. Room right now. We're having some mess right now. Yeah, I know. No 
Matter if there's a few little drips here and there. At least the color looks good. I think I'm just going to tape, tape them by hand. They pressure wash the car, that's why I'm doing it, otherwise it would have been full grease. That's why I want to do it now before I drive on it more. And then I'll just take whatever dust off I got on there recently. See, it's all, all the grease is gone. That's why I want to do it now. Saves me a time later. And you know, it's a truck, it's not a race car, so... Okay. We're gonna tape it. Joe wants more junk, but I, I can't just give him anything. I have to go through everything because stuff is twisted everywhere. You know, I don't want to give stuff that I need. Well, a tools is what I really want. But some things, you know, I have my personal stuff. Like, well, the wife only made fifty dollars at a garage sale. It was a waste of time, basically. Everybody's looking for tools. Everyone wants to buy twenty dollar tools for two dollars. That's what they're all looking for. That's why I don't, I don't sell stolen tools. The ones I have right now are just scrapper tools and they actually break down. They break easy, you know, you pry stuff, they break. Should look a lot better. I just want to slowly fix things up here. It's been too long, it's been sitting neglected. Like, even like that bracket you painted, you know, you know, and like I painted the deck last time, but just all kinds of things should be maintained. But eventually, it all takes time. But if I pull up to a job and the job's like 500 bucks, they're not going to complain because you got a nice truck. Well, you know, overhead's expensive, right? You take a beater, rust it out, they want to pay you $200. They don't care how much the dumping is, they want to pay you nothing. They think you're going to dump in the streets. No, you're going to pay for proper disposal. To make the truck look at least presentable. And the less chance of me getting pulled over, because I could be... Many times I've drove past DOT, even next to me. They didn't even look at me. Because the car was usually not too bad. Brakes, I always get the brakes fixed. I got this arm fixed here, drag link. It's basically right here, it's at a bar. It goes through in the steering box to the main steering well he told me if if i get pulled over they're gonna take me off the road so that sounds serious but he showed me the play was like nothing i think just over exaggerated but that's okay something that needs attention you know i want to i'm worried about people right i don't want to hurt somebody you know you got a commercial vehicle that's my my consciousness right you see these guys Big dump trucks are killing people all, all the time. Their steering goes out and they're going to second lane. That's what happens if, 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 if that arm comes out, that means my steering's gone. 
that's what's happening. People are getting killed. And people driving way too fast. You think they're driving a, a pickup truck and they're driving, you know, 40 pounds of material, 20 tons of material, maybe more on those dump trucks. Plus, you gravel or dirt. It's heavy, heavy stuff. At least my tires are going to look clean. I hate it when everything's. I mean, I, I got hit a little bit here and there, a little bit there, but when it comes to tires, you know, I don't want my tires to look clean. Not all full of paint. Let me finish this and we'll paint the next one here. Okay, hold on. When I brought this truck, it originally had rusty wheels, there was dents everywhere and bodywork, so the dust settles here. I actually um I got the wheels painted and the whole body painted, some dents taken out. The guy who owned the truck was a real bad driver. It's a bin company. It had dents everywhere. See this stuff spits too much, it's not even empty. getting low now but Look a hell of a lot better, that's for sure. Awesome. Nice rich color white I want. Oof. Got the t-shirt mask on. Oof. Better nothing I guess. I can push the one back a bit. Okay, we're gonna prep the same thing, wipe it down nicely and paint it. And then when we'll do another coat, then we'll go forward half a turn and then get all the See, I can see a big gap here, not even, well, maybe it's, no, it's just shadowing. Can't tell, it's a shadow. Okay, back to the same routine here. This one takes more, it's a bigger surface here, more, more little dents and stuff. But this paint actually works really good. Some paints are just, this one just covers up everything.
Okay, let me taper up and uh, keep moving here. I'm gonna turn it over. I should change change it a bit. Fumes are strong, but I'm not breathing the dust in, but the fumes. A little more rusty, this one here. It actually goes on pretty nice. Can't believe how hot it was today. Well, it didn't seem like the temperature didn't seem hot, but for some reason, 63, 27, as opposed to Sunday, 70% rain. Huh. For all next for next week is kind of lousy on and off. Well, that's okay. I want all this crap out of there anyways and get rid of my bottles. And then hopefully more motorhome gets fixed. But anyways. I'm going to take that tarper in. He says yeah, he has parts. But I told the guy, let me know because I want to put a scale on here. And then I want to put a scale and I want to get the tarper fixed. Then I told him I want to order another bin. Like that. No back door, just just a lift. Uh, uh, you know, big aluminum lift, right? Then he, and then he said he'll get back to me. It's been already four or five days, so. I mean, I just told, I said, how much is bin? He says, 10 grand for a bin. Seems a little bit high. So I don't know. I would think more like about 8,000, but I'll have to see. But if you take the door away, then it'd probably be cheaper, because the door's probably worth about 2,000. So maybe 8,000 lift. So if I can get it for around 15,000, 16,000 maybe, then I'll do it. Then I'll have this will have a lift, the other vehicle will have a lift, a little red, and there will be Silver Surfer, and then there'll be this van too. This van is going to be for now, but I'm going to put a trailer hitch on it. And Joel's got a car trailer, so I might be able to use car trailer. Maybe we can pick up cars, get Joel to look, fish them all out, and pick them up. And you know, take take some parts off it and scrap it. But 
we'll see see what happens we want to have all avenues of scrap right and then later on like I can say when I do if if say I'm not too busy and I don't want the van I'll just give the job but the thing is the van is still practical right it's heavy on gas but if you put a hook on it then it's okay it doesn't matter how heavy it is just because you're gonna move a trailer back and forth and it may want it you know if I get busy enough right um, I could even rent out trailers or bins or whatever right we'll see what happens you know I'm trying to invest about a, I don't know 100 K or something maybe into something different I mean scrap is okay but it's just finding scrap is you know I mean I enjoy finding scrap but I want to get into the houses for the um clean outs you know the mom and pa that you know retires or goes to a home and they pick through what they want the rest goes to garbage and then I'll decipher what's good what I can save what's collectibles antique what I could donate and if you want to see what I'm kind of want to do is check my buddy's channel out it's um NAS NAS Atlas NAS Atlas he has got a junk removal and like I say something what he does but you know I'm more for getting collectibles and junk and stuff he, he find like I see these houses even in the states they don't even know anything about collectibles and good quality sellable stuff they just do it all into a bin even recyclables metal some people out there they have no clue they're throwing hundreds and hundreds of dollars away you know you clean a house out you know you charge say two two thousand to clean a whole house out there could be five or ten k of collectibles and junk in general that's sellable so you have to have knowledge people don't have knowledge some do some don't but anyways let me finish this here and then we'll roll ahead again and then we might be done here but i'm gonna put a coat here again i see there's a mod spot i get different angle here okay hold on okay so we're giving more junk to joe this crap here I'm gonna give him the windows He's got a van full of crap. I'm trying to downsize a little bit, but the clone gave me a little bit of money just so that, you know, I have something for my time effort, you know. But, you know, try to get stuff for Joe. I ask him what sells, he won't tell you, but he always wants more stuff. I told him I want five bucks to pot and five bucks out of this thing. And five bucks for this thing, crap price. Oh, um, I had a flute and a clarinet that I found, spring cleanup. Some guy on a cruise ship's coming to buy him, maybe he said, how much for two? US, that said $60. So I'm going to split that with my buddy. Okay, I kind of oversprayed the tires a little bit. I wouldn't say it's the best job, but what I might do is where the dripped on the edge, I'll take a black felt. But either way, when you start driving, it's gonna it'll wash off eventually. It, did, it always does. So that's the wheels now. The back turned out really good. This paint is actually really good. It's really expensive, but really good quality. It covers nice and it sticks on really good. So look at that. Looks really good. that's good there I'll take a black felt and I'll just touch touch it up here like this you know it's not 100% or nothing but it's probably better than one when I paid to get them painted as cops up there please but uh, so that's the roof's done the wheels are done get the tarper fixed put a scale on here because I mean I could judge weights and stuff I could tell them look it's uh, 30 cents a pound loaded because it cost me 10 cents a pound so even if I charge them 20 cents a pound in a little bit of labor and I know because if they put the hardwood floors in here those things are really heavy and you can lose a lot of money that way so you don't realize you start loading in there and you got 500,000 pounds like nothing especially if it's a fairly big house uh, crazy I, I guess when you look down here the cops are wondering look at all this crap everywhere but I'm going to be organized to be all cleaned up anyways. This will be all in a bin. Most likely tomorrow depends on how bad the rain is. This will be in a bin. Those appliances will be in a bin. These bottles, I'm going to shuffle everything under there. Sort them all out. Take, maybe get rid of all this stuff before I go. Uh, HMS loads going soon. If I do a few more tires and wheels, and want to do a non-ferrous run. And then get my check. So I have all kinds of stuff here mixed. 
So Joel took the bike, the red bike. I told my brother-in-law 20 bucks. He actually fixed it, but says he doesn't want it. Whatever. And I can tackle this, and I'm gonna move this station back about 10 feet or less. Well, maybe like six feet. And then I like to get all the stainless taken out of care of it, right? And I got chairs. Give me all these chairs. So I'm hoping to get maybe around seven, eight hundred dollars for a scrap run. The scroll right there. Oh, look at that! He jumped on the roof there. Look at that, huh? Jumped like six feet. I have a, a rat in there. It's gonna come out. And I have a welder there that's gonna be stripped. You know, it's a one-man operation, right? You're not gonna get miracles done every do a little bit of time, right? A little bit of time. HMS here. That's all uh, all aluminum here, dirty. Here, bicycle wheels. But at least I get this all clean. And a lot more of those bikes there. And that should be at least a half a bin. That'd be good. And once I tackle the bottles. But I want to take them all under there anyways. Get them. Uh, I need this landing area myself. I was told Joe to take the speakers, but... He says, do they work? How do I know? But they're super heavy. They're better quality AWAS. Oh yeah, they're good. Better take these, they're pretty nice. These speakers, not blown. Sometimes the tweeter blows, but it's pretty nice. Right, yep. Them? AWA. Yeah, I'll take them, yeah. I just found them today, just now. Yeah, I'll take them, but I have to make room for them. But we'll take them because they're going to rain. Yeah, they're going to rain, so... I have a desk there. My brother put a desk on, I'm trying to sell that. Right? Uh, uh, that's the way I found it. Yeah, but it's well built, it's not junk. Yeah, yeah. I told him I have to get 25 out of that. We'll see. He said he sold one to another guy before. Um, yeah, if I get rid of this here and then strip a couple boilers, get some of the uh, copper off, sell some dirty, or sell some copper, number two, a little bit. If I get my wheels ready, get six wheels to get that ready. So I, have, I should. Ideally, it'd be nice to get a thousand, but you know, it might be a long shot because I don't have much time. But uh, what I do is have about just over 200 now in my counts, not very much. But I've been giving this the fourth load I gave Joe, so I'm really weeding stuff out, right? I just need to get rid of stuff. Joe gave me this tank here, it's got a nice piece of brass on the end, I think. You know, it's stainless steel, probably. <coughs> Tank here, got some liquid in it. Even though it has a safety valve, always keep them closed. Let's throw this in here. So the stairs, I'll show you where the stairs are going. They're gonna go on this side, and it's gonna be like. Three feet, three six inches, something like that. I might have to get some gravel to fill it in there. So I think that might work. He wanted 14 footers, but uh, 14 footers are hard to get. I have to go to a lumber yard for that. Home Depot doesn't have it. So if these work, this could be close because the step is really, really the step is going to be here, more or less, even if it's level there. One step down, then we'll be cut. We'll cut this here, and we'll put a handrail on one side. Maybe a little jaw there, and then a handrail. Um, see, Joe wants stuff, but he doesn't. He doesn't want to help you to do nothing, right? I offered him some work coming. He's not interested. So there's really nothing here. That's a problem. This bike should be sold. It's not my bike, it's my mother-in-law's bike. Look at this, i got wires sitting here. Look at that. I don't even know I even had it there. Never even knew. 
the prices are lower because sold this but sometimes they say this is when I moved to my duplex who took off oh. hey Joe Joe who took this off here they cut the cable and everything the lawn worked perfectly no the cable's okay but they took the I better talk to Joel he probably took it off because that lawnmower is good I say you bring people around it takes take stuff apart but the lawnmower works and if you say this is worth stripping believe me it's not worth stripping I sell the way it is once I've stripped that I have I have uh, three insulated three insulations out, outer two inside and now the plug you strip it you break even or even lose money depends how much you're paying I can find out about that because someone took that off there probably Joe Joe's good for that so you have to watch what he does because he does sneaky stuff then everybody says well why are you so mean to him well, that's what it is he's sneaky well having two sh two signs you know trespassers No one comes around here anyways. Got people here all the time anyways, so it's no big deal. Not worried, there's nothing really valuable here. Oh yeah, there it is. Get to the point. Here, just like look like that. A couple more rotors. Nice. Lucky turn. Heavy. 45 pounds of rotors. About six rotors today. Like that.